hello guys welcome to doctor science today we are going to talk about nod like receptors so yesterday i discussed about what are the different types of toll like receptors and basically the toll like receptors are divided into mainly three types so here is the plasma membrane and on the plasma membrane there are extracellular toll like receptors and here is a endosomal vesicle and in, in this endosomal vesicle there are toll like receptors and not only that in the cytosol also there are toll like receptors so today we are going to talk about this cytosolic toll like receptors which are called as your nod like receptors or we can simply call them as nlr so basically the nod like receptors what is their function we have to see so suppose this is a nod like receptor which is present in the cytosol so basically nod like receptors are your cytosolic they are your cytosolic receptors okay it means they are present in the cytosol compared to the toll like receptors which are present in the endosomal vesicles and on the plasma membranes so this nod like receptors will have a complex this complex is called as inflama so inflamasome okay this inflamasome is a multi protein complex and this inflamasome will have an enzyme called as caspase 1 so as you can see here there is a enzyme called as caspase 1 the function of this caspase 1 is to convert the inactive interleukin 1 into active interleukin 1 so what is the function of the interleukin 1 as you know the function the interleukin 1 is a cytokine so obviously interleukin 1 the function of interleukin 1 is to induce fever okay and not only that it will increase the recruitment recruitment of leukocytes to the site of infection okay now i already told you that inflamasome inflamasome is a multi protein complex so what are the proteins invo- involved in this inflamasome we have to see so i will draw a structure of an inflamasome so here is a protein and here is an sickle cell protein here and not only that there are another protein so as you can see here this protein here is called as an nod like receptor protein 3 and this green color protein here is called as the adap- adapter protein and as you can see here here is your caspase 1 okay so these are your proteins uh, which are seen in inflamasome this entire complex is all is called as the inflamasome com- multi protein complex inflamasome multi protein complex so once there is once there is nod like receptor activation there is a receptor dimer dimerization receptor dimerization so what is meant by this suppose this is a nod like receptor this nod like receptor is getting activated by basically how it is going to get activated the question is 
suppose here is a cell and obviously in the cells cells are a bag of potassium and not only that there are in the cell there is a lot of atp and with atp there is also metabolic pro products such as uric acid suppose there is a cellular damage okay let me suppose there is a cellular damage here so obviously all these products the potassium atp and the uric acid will leak outside once they leak outside they will go and activate this not like receptor not like receptor proteins okay once they get they get activated obviously the inflammasome will which is a multi protein complex will increase the interleukin 1 okay and the interleukin will cause fever so basically what i am saying is so whenever there is a cell damage the potassium the atp and the uric acid levels goes up and hence they will activate nod like receptors and hence there is increased interleukin 1 or you will get fever and not only that they will rec they will recruit the leukocytes right they help in recruitment of leukocytes hence there will be a severe inflammation so as you can see here the nod like receptors i was talking about the dimerization of the nod like receptors so once these contents are leaked into the extracellular or uh, leaked outside they will be receptor dimerization so what is meant by a receptor dimerization i will just show you so here is the adapter protein and here is your nod like receptor protein 3 and here is your caspase 1 i talked about receptor dimerization dimerization means 2 so obviously there will uh, there is going to be another inflammasome complex this is your nod like receptor protein 3 and here is your caspase 1 so as you can see here once the nod nod like receptor is going to get activated there is a receptor dimerization this will go and bind like this with this one so there is a receptor dimerization and once there is a receptor dimerization this caspase 1 this caspase 1 will convert the inactive interleukin 1 into active interleukin 1 so it will cause fever and recruitment of neutrophils right so what is the importance of this entire inflammasome pathway so as you can see here this entire is inflammasome multiprotein complex inflammasome multiprotein complex so what is the importance of this one the importance of this one means you will be hearing about auto inflammatory syndromes in auto inflammatory syndromes there is a gain of function mutation gain of function mutation so what is the meaning of gain of function mutation you will be hearing this in your entire medical career by basically gain of function means there is a mutation which is increasing the activity increasing the activity of the nod like receptors so once there is an increased activity of the nod like receptors what will happen there will be increased interleukin 1 hence there will be fever right and this is called as your periodic periodic fever syndromes so in periodic fever syndromes there is a gain of function mutation in the nod like receptors and hence there is increased interleukin 1 hence the 
patient is having a lot of fever the treatment of choice for this one is you will give interleukin 1 and agonist not only that i hope you have heard about gout gout in gout what is happening there is increased urate crystals or for the sake of this video i will be talking uh, i will be saying there is increased uric acid so what happens when the uric acid is going to be increased i already told you potassium atp and uric acid they can activate the nod like receptors right they can activate the nod like receptors so once the nod like receptors are activated there will be interleukin 1 production this interleukin 1 production will cause fever and not only really that they will in uh, they will help in recruitment of leukocytes so obviously once the leukocytes are coming to the site of infection what will happen there is severe inflammation right so that was about the pathogenesis of gout i mean uh, the receptor importance of gout and auto inflammatory syndromes such as the periodic fever syndromes so don't confuse auto inflammatory syndromes with auto immune diseases auto immune diseases it is a entirely di different concept in which the b cells or the t cells will attack our own tissues okay so don't confuse with auto inflammatory syn syndromes versus auto immune diseases not only that you will be hearing about lipids lipid crystals or cholesterol cri crystals so this lipid crystals or cholesterol crystals they get deposited in tissues right in obesity related type 2 diabetes obesity related type 2 diabetes mellitus this lipid crystals are going to get deposited in the tissues so what is going to happen once they get deposited obviously this lipid crystals results in inflammation by activating the nod like result receptors okay so before going i would like to show you the diagram so as you can see here the nod like receptor protein 3 which is this sickle cell thing is going to get attached with the adapter ring and there is a caspase one which is inactive okay so bacterial pro products and crystals such as uric acid or urate crystals and if there is a leak of potassium from the cells and not only really that the reactive oxygen split species such reactive oxygen species such as h2o2 can activate this nod like receptors and once there is a nod like receptor activation there is formation of this inflammation inflammasome which is a multi cytosolic multi protein complex and there will be, there will be receptor as you can see there is a receptor dimerization and once there is a receptor dimerization it will activate the caspase one which will convert the inactive interleukin one into the active interleukin one which will cause acute inflammation so that was about nod like receptors thank you guys